breath. He plays video games. No more healing items out here. Nothing but a watcher. You know what? Screw you, watcher. I don't want you watching. Stop watching! I missed. I missed. I missed. There we go. Fights on. I guess they can survive more than one hit. Cool. Good job, Red Eye Watcher. <laughs> All right. Well, whatever. That went fine. Okay. Hi. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. It's time to go to. Wait a second. Can I even go in here? Wait a sec. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ouch. Hi. Point taken. Um. I take it I can't go in here. Is there another entrance? Or is is it just that Zeta's too cool for me? I'm not cool enough for Zeta, is that what you're telling me here? Let me see here. I know it put in a thing, Cauldron Zeta. Explore the cauldron, discover the secrets within. Find the hidden entrance as the main door is impassable. Okay. 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 Well, why don't we start out by going up where that red eye washer was? Maybe he knows something that I don't. After all, if a watcher comes out somewhere, he's got to come from somewhere, and this is one of the places where mo where machines are born, right? Right. What's that noise? Are you a pig? Oh, you're a pig. What? How? What? Why is a mine going off? What's going on here? Okay. Okay, there's the red eye watcher. I feel like this isn't necessarily the most orth Easy. orthodox way of getting up there, but uh, we're up here now, so. Hey! I was right! The red eye watcher was supposed to indicate the hidden entrance. Well, that's cool. Let's, uh. Let's, uh, override the entrance. Let me in! Let me in, or I'll program your brain. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do that part regardless. Thank you for letting me in. Okay. Let's see what we've got here, shall we? Ooh, it's very Tron in here. I don't remember the blue lines always... Yeah, 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 yeah. The light, the light bulbs are freaking me out, as they commonly do. Um, but the, the blue lines that ran along the walls and... Uh, walls and floors. When I came in, I don't remember that being a thing. Oh, this is roots this time, rather than... No, this is actually... This is mechanical guts that look like roots. It's super neat looking, but it's also unnerving. All right, let's get in there. This seems to just be a harmless passage, so okay, okay, here we go. All right, so this one is very much active, eh? Anything I should know about? Nothing right now, huh? Okay, well, let me just drop my way in then. No turning back. Well, no, there's plenty of turning back. I can absolutely turn back if I decide to, but I won't. I'm too stubborn. That's how I do. This seems like a great place to practice my somersaulting. In the snowy rocks. Snowy? How is it snowy in here? I mean, sh that looks like it's not an open air window. It looks like it's got protection in some fashion. Also, it wasn't snowy outside. How is it snowy in here? Perhaps I'm thinking about it too hard. I don't know. Okay. Well. Let me just check out this area over here real quick. Seems like there's a passageway to my left. Is this a passageway as well, or is this just some inert machinery? It seems to be the latter. So let's not worry about it. Let's just keep going. Deeper into the cauldron. Um, mushrooms on a rock? Well, I don't know if I need mushrooms. Ah, oh, there we go. Keep that for later. How? How did you grab? Oh, right. I put the talents into the into the thing that lets me store more me medicinal stuff, so that should be useful. But also, how did you pick that mushroom when you were swimming in the water, and it was more than an arm's reach away, Aloy. It's not like you could just hop up and grab it out of the water. I know you're athletic, but this is ridiculous. Okay. What's... Oh. It's another entrance. It's like a second level entrance. That's interesting. I'm gonna take all this stuff first, because I don't know if I can come back this way. After all, the main entrance is impassable. Who knows what's going to happen down there? Uh, guess we jump in. Spaloosh. Not as deep as I thought. That's fine. That's fine. Let's just, uh, hmm. More Meccano guts. Very good. In we go. Ooh. Ooh, the moving bed. Oh, I've already reached the core? Are you kidding? 
Go to the cauldron core. Yeah. Okay. Override the core. That's a thunder jaw. Friendly machine, it said. I'm sure he is. Okay, well, let's take care of the watchers. While I have that, well, I have the high ground. Let's make sure I have enough of everything that I've got because I've never fought a Thunderjaw on fair footing before. Let's see. Uh, that's all fine, that's all fine. Yeah, okay. Okay. First things first. Let's kill those watchers as they come around. Alright. You first. I definitely missed. Definitely 100% missed. There we go. The, the, well, continue hiding for one thing. It's not like he can get up here. And if he can, I'll just stab him. Hey, no problem. Can I jump on him? Oh, I could for a second there. Maybe I can again. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Squish! Squish! And this saves me the trouble of trying to figure out a way to get down, too. So that's nice. Oh, 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 hey. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Hi. Just trying to freak me out. Cause it's working. It's working pretty well. No, 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 no. No, don't look at me. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is really very stressful having you inside that thing. Apex Predator. I... Hmm. I know I need to lower that shield in order to, uh in order to override the core. But I don't wanna, man. I don't wanna let you out of there. I mean, this probably means that I'll learn how to override a Thunderjaw from this place. That would be pretty, pretty dang neat. I really hope I can ride them. That would be exceptional if I could ride them, but I gotta fight one first. I guess that only makes sense. Gotta fight one on fair footing, and he'll probably let in a flood of machines to back him up, too, if I know anything about anything. And I don't, so there's that. Okay. Don't mind me just gathering all the items so I can stall for all the time I possibly can. Uh, it seems I have filled up on healing items. Four health bars worth of healing items should, should be nice. That should be way better than what we've been dealing with in the past. So... I like that part anyway. Um, excuse me, I'm just gonna loot this. I'm just gonna loot this, uh, loot this watcher. Don't zap me, please. Thank you. Thank you for not zapping me. Okay. So now I guess I need to figure out how to let him out. How did I do it last time I came to a, to a core of a... One that was like this. One that was operational. It was the thing in the back, wasn't it? I had to get on the pillar in the back, didn't I? Oh yeah, it's got glowing yellow bits and everything. Of course I do. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sure it's fine. There we are. That's the one. That's the jam. What's your weakness again? No, not the disparate pylon. Thunder jaw. Strength against lightning. Weak against nothing. Nothing. We got disc launchers, we got blaze canisters, freeze canisters. We got a radar. A radar? What happens if I take out your radar? Uh, I, just, I can't see through the discharge pile. Okay, well, whatever. Let's let him out, I guess. I'm sure it's... Wait, why can't I do it? Why can't I... There. There we go. <laughs> got too distracted by the thunder jaw, apparently. Pardon me. Okay, okay, okay. You're free! You're free, be free! Oh, and you're definitely lowering me into the ground. You're lowering me into the ground. I wish that you wouldn't. Oh, hi! Oh, how did you know? Okay, okay, yo! Cool, great, great. Okay, jump! Okay, all right, all right, what do I do? What do I do? I'm out of his range of sight. Uh, he's attacking anyway, but he has no idea. Okay, fantastic. Oh! He figured it out. Good job, man. You knocked down my cover, too. Okay, okay, okay. I need to get rid of his radar, I think. That right there. Let's let's shoot. Okay, did I get it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure that actually did it. Okay, okay. 
jump, jump and run. Okay. Try no, 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 no. Okay, that's a big jaw he's got there. Maybe that's why they call him a thunder jaw. Maybe. Okay, no thanks. No thank you. I am uh, doing fine. I don't know how you're able to summon orbital lasers by the... Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm very dead. Oh. I figured something out. Those weren't orbital lasers. They were aiming lasers for explosives. So if you... If you think that you can just stand it and soak it, like I did, you blow up. <laughs> it turns out you blow up if you do that. So, um, oh man, I'm up here again. The Watchers are back alive and everything, and all that stuff I looted isn't okay. You know what? I'm gonna, f I'm gonna let, I'm gonna fast forward. You don't have to watch me gather the stuff again and make all this ammo. I'll see you in a minute when I'm back to the fight with a Thunderjaw. Jeez. Okay, I think I'm ready. I've re-outfitted myself. I've equipped myself with their things. It turns out you've got heavy weapons that I can detach and use, so I'm gonna try and do that thing. It worked out really well last time I had to fight a Thunderjaw. Let's see if it does again. Tear Blast, please. Okay. As soon as he's... At... Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Let's just shoot that. Sh shoot that. Oh, perfect. And that. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. Yes. Hello. I'm going to run away. I'm going to run away. All right. I need to get that cannon. No, thank you. Okay. Okay. Once he gets momentum going, he takes a minute to slow down. So, okay. Chose what I know. He can attack to the back as well. That makes sense. Okay. Give me that. Give me it. 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 Give me Okay. Ouch. Cool. Cool. Um... Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, launch those discs, launch them, use my health, okay, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, okay, okay, he's not happy, and well, why would he be, okay, okay, is that other disc launcher still on him, yes it is, okay, yeah, no thanks, okay, get away out of the range of the tail, okay, 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 no thanks, oh, that hurt, oh, that hurt, okay, 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 it's fine, it's fine, we're doing fine, we're doing fine, the gun is still there. The gun is still there. I gotta get there. Perfect. Knocked it off. Great. Great. Okay. Okay. Now I need that gun. Okay. Good steering. Good job. Good job, man. Okay. Okay. No thanks. I'm good. 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 Oh, hi. 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 I wish that you weren't directly above me, but you sure are. Okay. That's hurting me too, I think. Oh, that's his core. His core is exposed. I don't... I think I probably should be taking advantage of that, but instead I'm just firing wildly! Are you dead? Are you dead? You're not. You're not, but you're almost dead. Okay, let me just, let me just shoot that thing. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work. What is that thing? Ow! Okay, okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Run, 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 run. Run, run. Okay, yeah, cool. Cool, no, it's fine. It's fine. If I just consi consi continue consuming healing, it will fix all my broken bones and hemorrhaged organs. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. No. Okay. Ow. Yeah. Ow. How am I alive? How am I even alive? How do I? How do I hurt you? How do I hurt you? Okay. 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 No. It's fine. It's fine. No. No. Okay. Okay. Can I just like? Can I freeze you? Can I freeze you? I'm gonna freeze you. I'm gonna freeze you good. Okay. Okay. There we go. Right there. Right there. Right there. Okay, great, you're frozen, you're frozen. Now, get shot, get shot, get, get shot. Thank you for getting shot. Oh. Oh, boy. Give me your stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's great, Aloy. That's great. I'm glad you found a rare part, Aloy. That's... Oh. All right, what you got? Oh, there's even an animation for looting something that is bigger than you are. That makes sense. Tear coil, shock coil, resist weave. Resist, that's a resi good resist corruption weave. Here, give me all that stuff. Great. Thank you. And there's the core. 
There's the core. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this stuff because I'm pretty sure it's going to it's gonna auto save when I when I interact with that core. And if anything else feels like attacking me, I don't wanna lose all the stuff I just looted. You get it? You get me? I bet you get me. It's not that complicated. Yeah, give me that echo. Wow, it's a big echo shell. That's a big old echo shell. I guess they don't make them in Thunderjaw size typically. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Give me give me the mushroom. Give me the mushroom. Give me the mushroom. It's right there, I can see it. Really? No mushroom for me? Okay, okay, fine. I don't I don't, I don't need it. I don't need your mushroom. Screw you. Screw you and your mushroom. I'm just gonna override this core, get my stuff. Learn my my um overrides, I guess. Is the word I'm looking for. Great. Great. There we go. I did it. I've done it. There we go. Information, Information to help me override more machines. machines. Yup. Cool, I did it. Are you always oh, gonna teleport me out, are you? Because I can't move right now. Cool. Yeah, I guess we're done in here. Oh right, it levitates you up to the entrance again. I remember how it works. Now that it just did it to me again, I guess that would be a good reason to remember. Thunderjaw, Rockbreaker, Stormbird. Ah! Those are really big, nasty machines I just learned to override. That's fantastic. And the stalkers are back. That's less fantastic. Okay, well, I, I leveled up, so... I suppose I could... Oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a thing in the notebook, huh? What's this? Cauldron core. Production oversight analysis. Added to manufacturer type. Intrusion. Source external. Countermeasure phase shift. Countermeasure failed. Main production external override. Main production downloading. Additive manufacturer type. Okay. Yep, I guess they it, it detected me. And it was like, oh, countermeasures. Wait, I got no countermeasures. Well, let's just make a really big friggin' thunder jaw and see how the intruder likes that. Hey, I guess that's basically what it came down to. Oh, while I'm in here, while I'm in here... Is it collectibles? Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Which is the one that that one okay, that one to listen to. So here, Explorer Museum. This is the first vantage I found. Let's listen to the to the sound file, shall we? We shall. A pocket shit storm tour. Day three. I was thirteen. When I broke in and vandalized this place. It's the same guy. Me and that kid, I think his name was Star. It was my first arrest. A real banner day for the Mahdi family. Mahdi family. What a messed up kid I was. A lot of a lot of kids are messed up. It's cool. There's text as well. Do they all have text as well? Should I do his voice? I'm uh like me Star was a problem kid, but he wasn't really smart enough to get into trouble on his own. I didn't tell him my real motivations. Just made breaking into the museum and vandalizing it sound like a fun thing to do high on Duster. Drugs of the future, man. Don't ever tell you about them, but you can tell right by the names. Anyway, I was only 13, but my combined interests of tech and drugs had already acquainted me with the basics of hacking security systems. Do you have to have drugs to hack security systems? I guess so. I used a jammer to bypass a window alarm, and then I got to work. I toppled hollow exhibits, smashed dioramas, yanked display panels off the walls, and smashed those too. Yay, vandalism. I forgot all about Star until he yelled about flying glass. He was just standing there, holding his cheek, staring at me with big, scared eyes, whining about how this was crazy and I was going to get us arrested. Well, I mean, yeah, pretty much. He was right about the arrest. Getting caught was part of my plan, but wrong about the crazy. My one-boy orgy of destruction wasn't some kind of drug-soaked psychotic frenzy. It was a calculated attack. Not on the museum. On Wyatt. Let me explain who that is. Please, please explain who that is. I don't know. Okay, okay, yes, he is going to. Well, this is longer than I thought. You would have started dating Wyatt a few weeks before, and I didn't like him. I wanted him gone. When you had him over to dinner, one of the many boring things he'd drone on about was how he served on the board of the museum and oversaw its technology purposes. Anyway, as I was saying, Star was right to think we were going to get arrested. It went down quick. Star began screaming about how he was burning all over, and next thing I knew, I was face down in a mound of expanding foam. 
That's a way, that's an interesting way to be arrested, I'm sure. The police bots never even warned us. Compared to Star, I got off easy. I've never been on the business end of a microwave gun, but they say it hurts like hell. I was still picking bits of that foam out of my hair a week later, though. But, you know, not in pain. Not being microwaved, so I feel like that's still better. Fines and damages came to 18 months of basic income, so it wasn't just shame that my actions brought down on the family, but financial catastrophe, too. Which is why the plan backfired. I didn't push Wyatt away. I handed him a golden opportunity. He stepped in and paid the bill, and it was only another month or two before you two got engaged. Anyone, I guess what I'm saying is I hate you, stepdad. It's weird, but lately I've been dreaming about that night. I keep seeing the first projector I toppled, watching that hologram of a pioneer woman slew side. Wait, wait a second, wait, wait. You talking about my mom? You couldn't be. You couldn't be. No. No, 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 no. Just a pioneer woman. This happened before the apocalypse. No, 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 no. It's some, it's some, some other pioneer woman. Slew sideways and spin to the floor like a bowling pin as the emitter crashed over. The zap and a flicker and she was gone. History shortened out. Kind of like now. I wonder if anyone will survive to build museums about us. Nope. Turns out, nope. Pretty much nope. Does that mean there's a text file in this one too? Oh man, there is. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's find out what he has to say. Hi, Mom. My plan was to go camping here after the Amos 15 launch. I'm going to talk faster this time. I'd been working OT for the past nine months, so I was pretty frazzled and figured I should take a weekend to relax before Crunch started up again. I was setting up my tent when Wyatt's call came through. Oh, man, this guy, the stepdad, okay. He said it was an emergency. I called the lift Spinvert and made it to Denver General in less than 27 minutes. That was too late. Oh, no. Dead mom, I wasn't expecting the tragedy, dang it. You'd already slipped into a coma. I didn't understand how that could be, but when I told Wyatt to explain, he just kept choking up, waving me towards the care station. Okay, not technically dead mom, but you know, coma mom. Coma mom. It was, so it was a holodoc that broke the news. How you'd been diagnosed a year earlier. The adverse reactions to gene therapy and polymer vascular replacements. Other big words too. The six months of mobile dialysis. I couldn't believe you kept it all a secret from me. Even at the height of crunch, I called you once or twice a week, so you just sat there listening to me enthuse about my latest project or complain about workplace politics, and all the while, you were dying? It didn't make sense. Maybe it's because of my hard-boiled voice that you didn't feel I was approachable. I marched back to Wyatt, cornered him, and demanded that he explain. He said you didn't want to distract me, that I was doing important work and needed to focus. You know, as though the latest Amos launch and the Palladium and Rhodium it'd bring back to Earth mattered more than Ma, who was already here. Wyatt always kept, uh, Wyatt kept smiling, saying you were how proud you were of me. He even parroted that onwards and upwards phrase of yours. He said I should get back to work, that that's what you would have wanted, that he'd stay at the hospital and keep me informed. I didn't go back to work, because Wyatt said I should, so of course I didn't. I called in. It took arguing my way past arguing my way past two supervisors, a labyrinthine automated HR menu, a human resources AI, and an anal defensive benefits executive to activate my personal leave, but I did it. And then I sat at your bedside for the next seven days. I kept thinking of the hospital after my OD at the amphitheater. I kept thinking that if you came out of the coma, I wanted my face to be the first thing you saw. On the eighth day, they pronounced you dead. After the funeral, I went back to work, but I wasn't really there. I kept telling myself to focus, that it was okay to be there, and it was what you would have wanted after all. Onwards and upwards. But my work fell behind. When my supervisor called me in for an emergency review, I told myself to play it cool, accept the criticism, and promise to do better. It didn't go back down like that. I snapped and shouted at him, and then broke down, sobbing uncontrollably. Two minutes and three sec drones later, I was standing outside the Faro building, blinking in the sunshine, straightening my bunched up clothes. An alert on my focus indicated that I should go home for the day, then report to a disciplinary review on Monday. But I didn't go home. Another idea had risen up in my mind already fully formed. I guess I'd already been thinking of doing it for a while. I took a lift spin to Pioneer Park. Ten minutes of asking around and a truth test to show I wasn't a cop was all it took to make a connection. I went home with the drugs, started using and didn't stop. Duster, snake, skydive, overcast, no razor wing at least. I didn't take calls, didn't show up for the disciplinary review on Monday morning. A friend stopped by and hammered the door until I answered it. When he saw what was happening, he staged a one-man intervention. 
I agreed to go into treatment, but I didn't harbor any illusions. Use of personal leave was bad, but use of psych SA leave? Career suicide. Sure, they couldn't legally fire me for it, but I'd been around FAS long enough, long enough to know they'd find a way. My career was over. I thought I was at rock bottom, but I was wrong, of course. I still had a long way to fall. That was more tragic than I was expecting. I'm sorry I gave him a silly voice. I tried to tone down on the silly as I got towards the end and stop looking at me, you dang stalker. Okay. What am I doing? I got all tragic up, and now I gotta... Now I gotta figure out what I'm doing. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Well... I guess I'd... Man. Man. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Where's Maker's End? Where's Maker's End? Tell me about Maker's End. Is that pretty close? Is it relatively nearby? Oh, it's just over there. So I just need to get past the stalkers. Well, let's just do this. Ha ha! Confirm! More than one way to skin a stalker. Fuck. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. What? Am I on a quest that is be triggering? Nassan? What are we talking about? Let me just say real quick. Seeing as I just survived all that stuff, and then talked for, you know, 20 minutes... In a voice like this. Nassan, huh? Nassan, 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 Nassan. Dooby doo dooby doo dooby doo. Wait a second. Isn't that a quest I already did? With Nassan? No? I have no idea what you're talking about, Aloy. Let's see if there's anything I need to scan around here. Sure doesn't look like it. I can't remember who Nassan is. And yeah, there's a Ravager right over there. It's fine, okay? It's fine. I'm going this way. I'm just gonna go this way. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go this way. It'll be fine. It'll be... just fine. Ah, long legs as well. Great. Great. Wait. How are you seeing me? Wow, you have good eyesight. I guess I wasn't being stealthy. That's probably part of it. What's that? Oh, it's just like, uh... It's one of those guys with the... Yeah, lance horns. That's the one. That's the one. That's no big deal. So can I... Can I override you yet? No, I can't. I don't have that one. So in fact, Zeta... Okay, so I, instead of the... Instead of the desert creature... Cauldron, I accidentally found the... Like... Mini-boss... <laughs> cauldron. Didn't I? Well, that's neat, I guess. That's a Strider, isn't it? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna just hijack this here Strider and make myself a ride! Make myself a ride! Yes! There you go. Excuse me. Whoa, are you okay? You had a full body spasm there, which I feel a little bit odd about. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here before anybody... Oops, that's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Yes. Yes. Hey! Apparently... He sure did. What's that noise? Why, indeed. Okay. Okay, it's one of those. What was that? This is not the time. What did you say, Elizabeth? What? I'm a little busy. Don't go on. Okay, good to know, I guess. Well, that works out well, too, because I want to kill them. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I know how to control you is the thing. So, I just need him to come up. There's two! There's two rock breakers? Are you serious with this? Okay, okay, okay. Just, just look at me in range. Give me in range. It's not range. That's not range. He's, okay, he sees me. He sees me. How am I supposed to possess these things if they're under the ground all the time? How am I supposed to survive this encounter with two rock breakers? Are you kidding me? Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna excuse myself over the. Okay, yes, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna go over here, reapproach this whole situation without riding in on a horse, and I think it'll go a lot better. Probably. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna end the episode here, and hopefully they don't come around the corner and kill me. Yeah? Yeah. Hopefully that's how that goes down. <laughs> so hopefully I'll see you back here in just a little bit.
We'll take care of the rock breaker situation and then we'll go check in with Olin. Because, uh... Apparently that's what we're doing now. Cool. Cool. Alright. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> and I will, uh... See you again next time. <laughs>